so our next concept is condenser okay one of the most important part of the refrigeration system after compressor in earlier video we have seen all about the compressor after a compressor generally condenser comes then what is the use of this condenser why they are generally used now see see this is the compressor and this is a condenser condenser and this is a compressor now in compressor what happens the vapor refrigerant will enter into the compressor compressor will compress that vapor refrigerant temperature and pressure of that vapor refrigerant will increase okay here it will be vapor refrigerant okay it will be get compressed temperature and pressure of that vapor refrigerant will get increased and that vapor refrigerant is sent to further condenser now in condenser generally now this is high pressure and high temperature vapor refrigerant okay that high pressure high temperature vapor refrigerant is cooled in the condenser okay the heat from this vapor refrigerant vapor refrigerant madhi heat kadun ghenar hai kon condenser the condenser will remove the heat from the vapor refrigerant okay so that vapor refrigerant is get converted into liquid refrigerant after condensing condenser nantar pura tana it is vapor refrigerant here it is vapor refrigerant that vapor the heat will be removed by the from the vapor refrigerant by the condenser okay maybe air or water can be used as a cooling medium condensing medium this air or water will remove the heat from this vapor refrigerant high pressure high temperature vapor refrigerant will be get converted into low pressure low temperature liquid refrigerant in the condenser so the main aim of the condenser is to remove the heat from the vapor refrigerant and conversion of this vapor refrigerant into liquid refrigerant okay this does this is done by the condenser really condensers are on the high pressure side of the refrigeration system they are installed generally on the high pressure side of the refrigeration system now there are various types of condensers available now first one is the air cooled condenser okay now in this air cooled condenser see as the name suggest air cooled condenser means here the remove of the heat okay vapor refrigerant mein jo heat remove hona hai that removal is due to the air okay so condensing medium or cooling medium is nothing but air so this is the vapor refrigerant this are the copper tubes okay through which the refrigerant will flow vapor refrigerant from compressor and liquid refrigerant out from the condenser okay now see this is the vapor refrigerant entering into this copper tubes now these copper tubes are generally 8 to 18 mm outside diameter are there the copper tubes and generally these are the fins provided over it okay and proper spacing is kept between them so dust should not be clogged there and uh, it, they are made from the aluminium because of the low weight advantage of that because of advantage of low weight these are made of the aluminium these fins are made of aluminium now the vapor refrigerant will flow through this copper tube okay and whatever the air will flow through this fin so this air will take the heat from this vapor refrigerant okay the heat uh, the air flowing over this copper tube it will remove the heat from this vapor refrigerant okay and this air becomes warm due to the absorption of a heat and due to the lower in density they will move upward the air will move upward and the vapor refrigerant okay when it will come up to here it will get converted into liquid refrigerant okay and then it is sent to the further expansion valve so this is the air cooled condenser due to the air cooling medium used is here is a air okay vapor refrigerant will enter into the copper tube whatever the air which is used as a cooling medium that is sent over through this fins that air will absorb the heat from the vapor refrigerant due to the lower density it will move up and vapor refrigerant at last get converted into liquid refrigerant okay so this was the air cooled condenser now in this air cooled condenser there are two types one is the natural convection natural air cooled condenser and forced air cooled condenser okay natural condensation and forced condensation so there are two types of air cooled condenser 
ओके वन इज द नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन एयर कूल्ड कंडेंसर एंड फोर्स्ड कन्वेक्शन एयर कूल्ड कंडेंसर नाउ इन नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन एयर कूल्ड कंडेंसर इट इज सेम एज एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एयर कूल्ड कंडेंसर दिस इज द दिस इज द वेपर रेफ्रिजरेंट फ्रॉम द कॉम्प्रेसर ओके नेचुरली कूलिंग टेक्स प्लेस कंडेंसेशन प्रोसेस टेक्स प्लेस नेचुरली सो नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन एयर कूल्ड कंडेंसर इन विच नाउ दिस इज द पाइप थ्रू विच द वेपर रेफ्रिजरेंट फ्रॉम द कॉम्प्रेसर विल फ्लो एंड वॉट एवर द एयर नेचुरल एयर दैट विल फ्लो ओवर हीट ओके एंड दैट एयर विल रिमूव द हीट और एब्जॉर्ब द हीट फ्रॉम द पेपर रेफ्रिजरेंट एंड द वेपर रेफ्रिजरेंट एट लास्ट विल गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू लिक्विड रेफ्रिजरेंट ओके वेपर रेफ्रिजरेंट विल एंटर इन टू दिस ट्यूब एयर विल मूव around this it will absorb heat from the vapor refrigerant it will become uh, warm and due to the low density it will move up the air will move in this direction upward direction and the liquid we uh, at last we will get the liquid refrigerant this is the force convection a air condenser okay force convection air condenser now in this force convection forced convection means a fan is required to force the air over this fins okay See, these are the fins. Number of fins. Your vapor refrigerant from the compressor will from the compressor will enter here. It will move between this, okay, between the fins. The vapor refrigerant, high temperature, high pressure vapor refrigerant will move between this fan motor. The fan will rotate, and whatever the air is move around this, okay, over these fins up to here, okay. the air will move around the fins and due to work, that air will absorb the uh, heat from this vapor refrigerant and that air gets warm okay and this vapor refrigerant will get cooled it will get collected in the receiver okay here and at last the whatever the liquid refrigerant that is sent to the expansion device so this is the two type of air cooled condenser air condenser natural convection air condenser and force convection air condenser here naturally condensation takes place here fan is required for the process of condensation